I thank you today for joining Jonathan Bell Ministries Overcomers Broadcast. If you're feeling down today, I want you to listen to this program because we're going to help you give the devil a black eye. You know, you may think that, uh, that maybe I'm a little, a little too excited for you. Maybe I don't preach exactly the way you like me to preach. Maybe I don't have my suit and my tie on tonight. Do you know there's mornings that you, you may wake up and you may feel lonely and you may turn to the phone and phone your mother up or your girlfriend or your boyfriend and say, you know, start a conversation with them. Why don't you start a conversation with Jesus Christ when you wake up in the morning? Why don't you build a relationship with Christ? I mean, nothing else in this world matters. It don't matter how much money you got in the bank. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters in this life unless your soul saved and you're going to heaven. That's the only thing that matters today. Nothing else. It don't matter how big or how hot shot you think you are for the executive for IBM. I mean, give me a break. If you don't s surrender your will to him, there's no way you're going to make it in. No way. You think, you think you're going to heaven and you think you're saved just because you put your name on the, on the church ballot? Going to church don't save your soul. You have to build a personal relationship with the one we're talking about who has the key to the gate. And if you want to tell me how to live my life, it better line up with the Word of God or shut your mouth. If it's not in the Word of God, don't try to tell me how to live my life and how to interpret the Scriptures, because that's not even biblical. People don't even read their Bible, for heaven's sakes. They go to church on Sunday and they think they're just doing God a big favor, and they put two bucks in the offering plate and they think everything's just cool. Well, you're nuts, my friend. You're totally lost it if you believe that. Because that's not even biblical. You know, a lot of people, after they work eight hours, come home and give their wife a big pity party on how hard they worked all day. Well, poor you. You're supposed to make money to pay for the bills of your family. And the Bible says, if you don't provide for your family, you're worse than a, than a, than a defiled person. You're worse than that. I mean, we're talking about life and death here. We're not playing little games. You know, a lot of parents won't even spank their children. Oh, I can't spank my child because uh, it's going to affect his mind when he's an adult. Lady, it's going to affect him more if you don't discipline him now. People are raising rapists, spoil rotten children, because they don't discipline their children. But there's a lot of people that use abortion for birth control. Abortion for birth control. They walk into clinics and murder babies. I mean, look around you, something is wrong. People don't even have a conscience. They have no problem walking in and murdering a baby that's within them. No conscience. Do you know there's people watching me right now that have no respect for me or God or His Word? You know, the Bible says if you touch the prophets and the anointed ones of God, that you have a curse come upon you. I had one guy two weeks ago try to take my life with a knife. You know, this guy comes to my house. He's a Satanist from one of the Satanist churches here where they sacrifice babies and melt those babies into candles, their skin, and that's supposed to give them more demonic power. And these Satanists came to my house, five of them, and threatened my life. You know, there's a young person watching me. Kevin, I'm talking to you right now. You know who you are. And there's a Sandra watching me. I don't even know how many people the God got to watch this program. I pray to God he did. A lot of people got up and watched this program. If you're a lady today, and I see a lot of women sitting on couches today watching me, and their husbands are at work, or they're afraid their husband's going to lose their job. Do you know if you put Jesus Christ first that he'll look after all your bills? And God only uses the devil. He doesn't let him hurt us. He just uses them to show us what a stupid idiot he is. Without getting too heavy about it, because some of you can't handle it. Some of you can that are spiritual, and some of you aren't too spiritual. So you're not going to understand what I'm talking about. But if you're a Satanist, if you're a lover of the world, you're a Satanist. 
I mean, the system is falling apart. And people don't even realize what actually happened to Kennedy. Now, I'm getting off track on politics, but it all lines up to everything in the book. You know, people don't even want to know the truth. People don't want to know the truth in the Bible. If you want to turn the channel, go ahead, fool. Turn the channel. If you want to learn something about God, shut your mouth and listen to me for a minute. You know, Kennedy was murdered by three terrorists. You know the Dallas police were told to keep their mouths shut and close the file? He was shot from the back, he was shot from the front, and he was shot in the neck on three different areas. And it was connected to the Mafia, to the White House, to generals that Kennedy had fired. He fired these generals. And they brought vengeance on him. Do you know the driver that was driving his car didn't even drive away? When they shot at him, he sat still. And the CIA agents that were supposed to be surrounding that man's car, they were nowhere to be found. And the American public ignore the truth. They'd sooner listen to a lie. This Oswald guy killed President Kennedy. That's a filthy, rotten lie. The Mafia had him killed before he went into court to tell the truth. The little gun that the guy had, there's no way he could have shot with accuracy. You know, our system is corrupt. Now, I may have gotten off the track a little bit, 